Hello, my name is Dr. Bo Kennedy, and I practice pediatric emergency medicine at St. Louis Children's Hospital in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm going to take the next seven minutes to highlight the use of nitrous oxide and oxygen for sedation in the ED. We began the use of nitrous oxide for sedation in our ED about 15 years ago and use it on over a thousand patients annually. I've also authored published studies on the use of nitrous oxide and oxygen for sedation. The primary advantages of nitrous oxide in the ER is that it is safe, easy to administer, fast acting, and titratable, and has an extremely short duration of effect. The benefit to the ED is faster recovery times, reduced staff monitoring, and shorter wait times. The nitrous oxide and oxygen is usually delivered via a breathing circuit with a face mask that is connected to a flow meter or mixer. The flow meter is connected to the nitrous oxide and oxygen via a portable gas supply or piped wall supply if available. Some systems deliver a fixed 50% nitrous oxide and oxygen blend, while other systems enable you to vary the blend to deliver 0 to 70% nitrous oxide. The continuous flow device enables you to titrate the sedation based on the patient and the procedure. Nitrous oxide is not metabolized and is completely out of the system within about five minutes after discontinuation of use. Nitrous oxide and oxygen can provide effective sedation for many procedures. These are a few common examples for which we use nitrous oxide in our ED. Note that local anesthesia with buffered lidocaine and or oral oxycodone can be important pain control adjuncts in most of these procedures. The other primary benefits from using nitrous oxide and oxygen in the ER are operational. Because of the fast clearance of nitrous oxide after discontinuation, patients typically recover within two to five minutes. The rapid recovery reduces the need for bedside nursing after sedation and allows for rapid discharge. In our published study of forearm fracture reductions in which we administered oral oxycodone at triage and subsequently injected a lidocaine hematoma block during sedation with the nitrous oxide, we reported a total mean recovery time of 16 minutes following nitrous oxide sedation versus 83 minutes for the same procedure using ketamine plus midazolam. Another published study reported recovery times of 7.7 .7 minutes for nitrous oxide and oxygen compared to 45.8 minutes for other IV sedation alternatives. This significantly faster recovery can reduce staff monitoring time, free up beds faster, and reduce wait times. At the end of this presentation, you can request a set of studies and articles with more clinical data. Although we are not aware of any dedicated studies of patient satisfaction following the use of nitrous oxide for sedation, we found that parents and patients were very satisfied with this technique in our study of fracture reductions. Here are a few questions that emergency medicine physicians typically ask when considering nitrous oxide for sedation. Is nitrous oxide and oxygen primarily intended for pediatric sedation? There is no clinical reason to restrict nitrous oxide sedation to children. However, because children can be very reactive to pain, nitrous oxide can be effective because it is quick to deliver, requires no injection or IV, and the sedation level can be tailored to the patient. However, nitrous oxide is equally effective in adult patients. What level of sedation can I achieve? Most modern nitrous oxide and oxygen systems for procedural sedation outside of the OR are intended for minimal to moderate sedation. Delivery systems have built in fail safes preventing the flow of nitrous oxide without accompanying oxygen, which would rapidly cause hypoxia. What are the adverse events? Serious adverse events are uncommon when nitrous oxide and oxygen is used properly. In a study of 7,802 uses of nitrous oxide and oxygen for elective sedation, no adverse events were reported for almost 96% of uses. 
minor adverse events, including vomiting in 2.2% of the cases and nausea in 1.6% of the cases. Other studies have reported between 2 and 25% of patients vomiting. This range is thought to be related to multiple factors, including what other drugs were co-administered, the procedure performed, and whether the patient had fasted. Nitrous oxide has been around for over 100 years and is used extensively in the dental field with a wide safety margin. Are there contraindications? Because nitrous oxide diffuses rapidly into air-filled cavities, it should not be administered to patients with areas of trapped gas such as pneumothorax, obstructive pulmonary disease, or bowel obstruction. Is there abuse potential? Yes, nitrous oxide can be abused. However, as with any medication that has abuse potential, the delivery system can be locked to deter potential abuse. What is the financial model? The cost of the delivery equipment typically ranges from $4,000 to $7,500. After that, assuming that you're not using a system that requires the use of a proprietary gas cylinder, a 20-minute procedure costs about $0.40 cents worth of nitrous oxide and oxygen. At the end of this presentation, you can request a financial breakdown of a typical nitrous oxide delivery system and operational costs. Space is really tight in my ER. How big are these things? The delivery equipment typically comes in a variety of configurations and is generally designed to work in tight spaces. Systems can also be mounted on a number of options, including rails, wall arms, boom systems, and mobile carts. I heard that this can't be used outside of the OR because of occupational exposure issues. Nitrous oxide and oxygen is safe to use in procedural areas like an ER and does not have the same restrictions as when used in the OR. Modern systems have good scavenging capabilities and connect to your wall vacuum supply which vents the exhaled gas out of the building. At this time, please indicate any additional materials that you would like regarding nitrous oxide for sedation in the ER. Thank you for your time. And I hope you have been reminded about the use of nitrous oxide sedation in the ED setting. If you would do us a favor and rate this presentation, we would appreciate your feedback.